kind of misleading. I'm not going to be able to talk about everything to know about authorship in eight minutes, but we'll give it a shot. Um, first of all, not many people know me. You see me on Twitter, or Facebook, or Google Plus sometimes. Uh, I'm the director of SEO for Web of X in Jersey. Uh, I'm also the, the tallest employee there. I'm sensing some disbelief. It's okay. Uh, it's been a long, strange trip for me. Uh, talking about authorship, I consider myself an author about SEO, um, different topics. So I'm not going to go through all this stuff, but we did check my Angel Fire website, and it's still up. Um, I acquired Dreamweaver, and that was kind of it. Uh, totally legal copy, not scraped or stolen at all. Uh, but that's really what got me started in web design. And in 2006, I was an internal marketer for uh, an answering service in Delaware. And I got bitten by the SEO bug uh, from the guys at Bruce Clay, which were awesome. Um, I joined Webamax in 2010 as a developer. Uh, I did some stuff, some stuff happened. I was promoted to the director of SEO. Uh, but I do owe a lot of that to a lot of people in this room, actually, uh, the community as a whole. Uh, I use techniques that I learned on SEO Moz from Sear, from Distill, a lot of places um, that has gotten me where I'm at now. Um, if you had some trouble pronouncing my name, it's understandable. Since first grade, Chris Country, Courtney, County, it's County, EY. So if you're looking for me and you're looking at us, say my name, please say County. Okay? And the reason that I talk about myself is because I want you to know me. I want, I want to get to know you, but I also want Google to get to know me. So in order for that to happen, we need to talk about authorship. Authorship is really just getting your, your mug on the SERP with your name that says, I wrote that, and then a link that says, I wrote some other stuff too. Okay? So, uh, Ann Smarty, who has the most, the, the best, most relevant name in the industry, I think, um, this is it. This is actually it in action. Okay? That's the SERP, that's the page from the website back to her Google Plus account which then completes the circle. Okay, so it's simple, am I right? Totally easy, no, no problems. I don't see any guest posts about people having trouble with it on Twitter for four weeks straight or anything. So we link to a page using the rel equals author tag. That page, which is the author page, links to the Google profile, which is the rel equals me tag. And then the, the profile links to the website as a contributor. Simple enough except it's not so simple. Uh, we run into problems before, and so we have a tale of two authors, okay? Uh, Jeff Bedford, Anvil Media, we know that he writes for Search Engine Journal, and obviously this is his stuff. Even in the uh, meta description, you can see that it's by him, but there's a problem. We don't see the authorship markup. We don't see his face with the other stuff, so what's, what's going on? We uh, have Eric show. Well, his is there. That's not fair. I mean, he's getting more click-through now because he's got his face on the SERP. So what's happened? Let's take a look. We're looking at Search Engine Journal's website, the profiles for both of these offers. All right? We see that Eric Show and John Bedford, Jeff Bedford are linked to their Google Plus profiles from Search Engine Journal in the same manner. Same exact hyperlink, everything. So, well, let's investigate. Let's look at the other piece of the puzzle and say, okay, we have Search Engine Journal, he's a contributor to that, and that's on his Google Plus profile, looks good. And then we look at Jeff's, it's, it's not there. So, aha, that must be it. Wrong, it's not it. Doing it wrong. Because my coworker, Todd Bailey, VP of Digital Strategy at Webamax, has it there, but his name doesn't show up in the same manner as Eric's either. His picture's not in the SERPs, so what's going on? We have to go back and take a look at Search Engine Journal again. And here, I, I see this link in Eric's profile on Search Engine Journal. And I, I see something that I, I saw a while ago, which is the, the query variable for Relicals Author, which is older. That's, not, that's something that they kind of rolled out in the beginning, said do this and you'll become, you'll get your authorship up. I don't see that in Jeff's, okay? So I'm looking, I know that Eric has an author page on Search Engine Journal. Okay, he's got the Relicals Me tag from his profile in 
search engine journal. Uh, and rel equals me is an XFN format type, which is okay for HTML4. But we look at the, the link from his posts back to Eric's profile page, his author page, and we see that rel equals author markup. Wait a second, that's, that's not right. For no apparent reason, every website I've ever been to, I have to look at the source code. I'm addicted. I have to, I have to check it out. I know, and there's an O Snapkins, and just so everyone knows, I have my almost entire coworker, the front row is all people from Webamax, um, and I owe that Snapkins to Jeremy, so thank you. Give credit where credit's due. Yeah. Search engine journal pages are HTML4, they're not HTML5. They don't know how to read that markup. They don't know what that rel equals author thing is, the way it's written, okay? So we know that it's not HTML5 because there's a whole bunch of garbage after the doc type. That's pretty much the best way to describe it. We know that the connection between his posts and the rel equals author page they can't follow the rel equals author in its current form, okay? So it's like a whisper down the lane. Right? So for HTML5, you can have the relic was author tag within the anchor, but for HTML4, you have to append it after the query, the link to the Google Plus profile, or it's not going to work for HTML4. So you want to know if your site is HTML5 or 4, just look at the source. It should be the very top line. If it's not, call me. <laughs> Doc type, HTML, very. <laughs> Very clean, simple, that's five. Four, it, it's a mess, a bunch of stuff. Okay, uh, we have another case study. Dude, where's my pick? Tom Anthony, uh, Distilled, UK, uh, wrote a great post on how authorship is becoming like the new link building. Uh, awesome post, you should definitely check it out. But ironically, his post about that doesn't show up in the SERP the right way. Brand, what happened? Let's take a look and see what happened, okay? What else can break the chain? Let's go through, look at the source. We see that he has a link to user profiles. He's got the rel equals author. We know that SEO Moz is HTML5, everything's good. Okay, so now we're linking from Tom Anthony to his actual SEO Moz post. Whoa! It's okay, it's all right. Security. Well, yeah, that is what does it, yeah. The rel equals no follow. Um, it will, the, que the query, the rel equals author is actually still okay, even though that's old, but it'll still, HTML5 will, will parse that. So you're, you're good, it's just you have the no follow. So snapkins. Okay, so when you're checking to see why your stuff's not coming up, you wanna check for um, if the spider can't get there, Google bot can't get there and it won't have the data it needs to put your stuff up on the web with that nice pretty picture and you know increased click through rate. There's other ways to implement, okay? Um, you could just do what most people do and just stick the button on the site. Um, pretty foolproof way of getting your authorship up. Um, or you could just verify your email address. But again, uh, one thing that some people try to game the system and put a logo or the company brand or an arrow, it's not gonna work. Google uses facial rec recognition technology just like Facebook and it's looking for your mug, it's looking for your face. If your face is not there, they're not gonna show your image. All right, this is all about people, all right? Why is it important? A bunch of smart people, too many to name, just follow my Twitter list, you'll see them all. Um, based on a bunch of research, author rank influences page rank. Page rank influences where you're gonna show up in the SERP, okay? So talk about building relationships, building real links, real stuff, companies doing real shit, that's, that's what that's about, okay? You can take advantage of it even if you have an e-commerce site because you should have a blog anyway, right? There, there's no reason for your site, regardless of what it's about, to not have a blog, all right? You need to have content that's updated, it's fresh, you know, query deserves freshness the whole, they just revamped that, you need to have good content, it needs to come out all the time. All right, and then you can take what you learned here with your pretty new Google authorship profile in the SERPs and say, 
look, if you let me write for you, you know, I could be your guest blogger. I will add your site as a contributor and I will increase your click-through rates. Okay? All right, author crawler, uh, back to Tom Anthony. Uh, sorry, Tom. I'm sure we'll get it straightened out. But he has a great author crawler tool that kind of does what a lot of tools on SEO Miles does now, except it adds the, the personal aspect, right? They're, it's kind of ranking people almost as if you would rank pages. And those are people that you then want to associate yourself with. If they're, they happen to be in your niche, they're in your, in your, your world, your circle, you want to get to know them. Uh, check this tool out. There's a lot it can do. Um, it's great. And why is it great? Because Google authorship is all about branding. You want to brand yourself, right? Um, Google loves brands. We know that. So you're going to brand yourself, okay? It's the way it is. It's the way it's moving. Um, I want to give a couple shout outs to Bill Slosky, AJ Conan, Gene Luca. I think he's, I'm not sure he's here, but he's probably watching on the web. But, uh, those guys, this is the research they've done in authorship is what led me down this path and helped me figure out what was wrong with some of the, some of the markup. And I want to thank SEO Maz and Seer for having us. And let's connect. And thank you guys for listening to me rant. Um, that's it.